Hi guys, so today I'll be trying out uh, Spellbinder's new Amazing Paper Grace or APG die of the month. Um, it is this fun set you see here. I kind of unboxed it the other day when I did um, try out their card kit for the month. And this one is called Pop-Up 3D Vignette Vintage Cash Register. And this one's done up a little bit differently than some of the other 3D vignettes, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. These items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you are purchase items to those links. So I did happen to print out the um, instructions. Yours, I have mine you know, they're samples, so I put them on this uh, magnetic board just to show you guys. But yours will come with um, a sleeve, a carrier, and then on that carrier you'll have this in color, and I just printed mine out in black and white um, to show us, you know, what we're going to be doing. And, like I said, this one's a little bit different. I don't know if you can see on the side here, where the pieces are static, and uh, they just show up, so as you're looking at it, you have the different little um, tags and one sentiment. And Sorry, so that is a little bit different than some of the other pop-up vignettes where maybe you can take the little tag out and read it. You know, it's a little bit different. So this one's more of um, something you're just going to look at just um, the way it is there. And so let's talk about this. So here's our main piece. Of course, we have the register. Um, we have the little keys that are separate. We have, you know, this beautiful front of your register that's separate. The little top that we're going to put onto either your tag well, basically, we'll talk about that in a minute. It's just the decorative top. Um, so on the back, if you make it the whole length, the height of this, you'll, it'll just be black like that. And on the front, you have the little wording there, however. Um, yeah. So uh, we have the bracket pieces. This is another decorative piece for this front here. Again, the words that you can pop in there. Change is good. The buck stops here. Just my two cents. <laughs> That's so funny because I saw the number two on here. I thought, oh, I like my two cents, but there it is. And then priceless, so you can pop in one of those sentiments. Lots of cute little pulls and levies, uh, levers and stuff like that that you can add on to decorate your um, pieces. We have the little um, buttons if you want to you know, decorate those, or if you want to pop this on like silver paper or gold paper that can emboss really nicely, you can just do that. But um, I think it looks cute with that little extra. We'll do that. And then these little guys are just like, I don't know if I can point that out on here, like this here. So if you wanted um, to put some of them with like the little, you know, two cents or a dollar sign, you can do that. Or the blank ones or however you want to play with it. So let me grab some papers and we will hop to it. Okay guys, sorry about that glare there, but that's what happens with the <laughs> silver paper. Um, so I'm going to make it very simple with black, silver, and white paper. Basically what's shown here, but you can make your register in any color. Super cute. And I'm going to go ahead and decorate the back of it too, but not as decorative as the front. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Just probably one or two steps I'm not going to do on the back. But um, for now we are going to... Uh, cut our little pieces here and I'm just trying to see if I want to yeah so we do need two of this with the little um, hole cut out now if you want to make your back piece let me cover this up so it's not so glaring there um, and you just kind of want to finish off your pop-up vignette just like this you can just cut this and it'll just be one solid piece um, but if you do want it to have the view for like the word that you choose to pop in here so you see on the back too um, you would just cut with that center hole so I will uh, do that for both pieces and I just have some scrap paper here because this isn't very large so we do need two of this with this piece um, if you want your register to be separate, of course you want this register, like this part here. We're going to cut this out also. I'm going to do it in black also. Oh, look at that. So I'll cut that out. So we need two of this, just the way you see it. Um, if you're going to decorate the front and the back, you're going to need two of the register key area. And I will do that. I'm just going to put the little circle keys on the front one and not on the back. Sorry, so, um, yeah, on the keys, I'm just going to decorate them on the front. It does say times two, and it looks like it cuts out eight at a time. And if you see the little key buttons here, you have 12, so we still need two of this. Um, if you're doing the front and the back, I suppose you can double that amount, or it just depends on what's going to be showing, you know, but I do need at least two of this, and I think I'm going to cut it out from this glitter paper just to give it some difference, which is kind of fun. Little fancy glitter keys, <laughs> the outline, the outside ring. So this piece will also cut the outside ring, but I'll also cut the center if you want to make that a different color. I'm just going to do the silver on the outside. So I'll cut two of those. 
Um, I'm trying to see what else we need. Uh, as far as the inserts, I'm going to use this paper. It's kind of like a shimmery white paper. And we need two of these with the sentiment. If you want the sentiment to show up in the back, then you um, need two of them. If you only want one sentiment, you're not going to really decorate the back. Um, then you would just need uh, the one sentiment, or cut out one time. And I suppose you can have different sentiments if you want, but I'm going to keep it the same. So um, what you would do is pop that in there. And... We'll do changes good, but I do like the price list. That's really sweet. So we'll pop that in there, and that will be taped down, and I'll run it through twice. Okay, we need two of this. And then we also need two without a sentiment, so two just plain. Um, and then, of course, of course, the register drawer, like I said, we'll need two of those front and back. The register base I'll do in the silver paper. If you want to decorate the front and back, you need two of these. So that's what I'm going to cut from silver paper that I have over here very shiny silver paper. Uh, the decorative top. So this is interesting. We have this piece here. It does not have a cut line on the bottom, which is actually really fun to use like on tags or something else later too. So they want you to cut this out basically on the color of your base of your register. So mine's black. And then leave two inches extended down here. Or one and a half inches it says, but however you like. So when we cut this out, it's going to remain on the paper, right? And you want about oh, an inch and a half down here. So maybe we'll do that one together just so it's not confusing. And then we have the vignette side pieces. Of course, we need two of this, just like this. And it looks like they're even. Um, uh, sometimes they might be like a little bit lower here or more. These are right in the center, so it doesn't matter if you do it this way or this way. But you do need two of these from your black paper or whatever paper coordinates with your register. So I would tape that down so it doesn't move. We need two of those. And then we have our little decorative pieces, which maybe we'll cut um, afterwards. So I don't want to um, get too in the weeds right now. We'll just cut these main pieces, and then we'll do our little pieces as we need them, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so that was super easy just to trim these out. Very simple to run them through. This does open up. It just stays in there on both of them. And I didn't have to do any rubber embossing. The pressure on my machine was enough to get that embossing. If you want to go over that with some, like, gilding wax or, like, some um, white pigment ink, that'd be really cool just to kind of bring that out. Um, and then this piece. So we just need one of this piece, again, with a, to it about an inch and a half extension down here. So we can look at that, and you can, you know, cut it down now. You can run it through, then cut it. Um, you know, it's whatever you want to do. I am... Probably just want to cut a piece off. So right now it's about, let's see, about an inch. So maybe I'm going to cut two and a half inches on that side. I'm not going to worry about the width of it right now. I'm just doing this. Oops. And what I'm trying to say is you can also cut this paper down on this side. Maybe I will once I tape this down. Let me oh, grab some tape. Oopsie. So let's say right here. Just right on the edge. I probably will have to trim a little bit off that edge still, but. And we can also just measure the die. But I just cut straight down there. And let me run this through right quick. Looking good with that nice embossing on there. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to trim this little bit off. And we'll see how that fits. If I need to trim off the side edge a little bit, I will. See how it's a little bit oversized? Actually, it's not, it doesn't look bad. Mm, I'm going to trim it just because I don't want it to interfere with these side pieces here. So we could just measure the die and then cut from there, but I did not do that. <laughs> So I'm just doing it this way. Or glue it down then cut it, but that also has its own challenges, so that's better. Just like that. Okay, let me look over the instructions and see as far as what we're doing here. Again, I know the back is going to be decorated just like the front, but I'm not going to do the keys extra, you know, with the extra little bit. 
I'll do that only on the front piece. So we're going to put all these pieces down. We have little um, levers and stuff that we're going to add on a little bit. So that all kind of goes there. But let me see in what order we should do this. Okay, so we'll put these to the side. Let's work on the front first. It does say to do all this kind of thing, but then later they don't have those images. So I will probably pop these little bits in later because I don't know what I want to do with that right now, especially because we have the different tabs. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'll leave that for now. Um, and then we'll just do this kind of thing. I am going to go ahead and hear one of these on here though. So again, this is for the front one. Basically that's just going to be there and that colors in the back of that. For the back one, we're going to cut a little piece of paper that's two by three eighths of an inch. Again, all this stuff is written here. And so that does let us know this is two inches wide, right? When I went to cut that. But let's go ahead and glue this. And I'm going to put the glue on here. Just for around the words. I think that should be good. And if I have to trim it down a little bit, I will do that. And this is, you know, to use foam adhesive or whatever it is that you like to make it the register, you know, different things pop up and stuff like that. So I think I will do that on this part. Um, maybe this part too. Okay, so let me just glue this straight down. And then I'm going to run through my other little bits right now and again I'm just adding those smaller things to the front sorry if the lighting's a little bit dark I'm sorry <laughs> that was one of my lights I moved um, let's do that with this little guy before I pop these things down um, there's some little decoration that goes here and stuff so let me grab that die which is this guy and I'm just going to run it through some of the silver paper and then, you know, we try to use up all our little scraps here. If I can fit this in here. Oh yeah, right there. Fits pretty well. Does it fit there? No. So I'll run it through this little area. And I will be right back. Okay. Nice size pieces. So that's always good and basically in here I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right there and right here and let's see let's go and try to see the little circular shape yeah so this one goes over here I just need that tweezer to help me pick it up. <laughs> Other than that, I'm not going to use it to place. But right on the edge there. And it's pretty much notched out for you so you can see very well where that goes. There and right here. Put some in there in a little bit. And our drawer pull. <laughs> How cute is this? And again, you can give this a little bit of dimension, maybe round it out a little bit. And then we're going to glue that part down. So I'm just kind of flattening that, flattening that, rounding out the handle. <laughs> so cute. Maybe a little bit more. There's like a little screw in there. That is so adorable. My goodness. So much detail. Just from the embossing. That looks good. And then, oh, <laughs> the little pole here, it looks like it goes something like this. And I guess this can go back here or we can go in the front. However, you want to do that part. There's more decoration on this front part of it, so I'm going to put that and glue this right behind it. And you can pop this in wherever it is that you want to pop that in, you know, behind here somewhere. I'm just going to hold that for a second. And let me pop out the little 
these bits. I haven't done them because I want to make sure I don't misplace any. So I'm going to run this through um, twice and I'll be right back. Actually, I'm going to run it through once just so I can put the pieces down and not misplace any. And so this is kind of what I was showing you guys is that we have the little circles. You know, they're going to go oops, around here. And then there's also like the little cutout piece that pops out. So if you want to do that like in a different color paper, you can pop that in. I'm just doing this for a little added touch. But honestly, the embossing is so good on this. It's probably not even needed. But I'm going to go around and I think what I'm going to do is put the glue on here very carefully. This glue dries really nice and clear, so it's not a big deal. And I'll probably do like three at a time. So I have those three. Bring this guy over. Oh, I need to get a little more stickiness going here. And pop it on. Go to the next one. They all appear to be about the same size, but not really. Like this one's a little bit larger, so I think that one goes there. This one's a little bit smaller on the sides. So you can kind of eyeball that. Okay, and I will be right back. <laughs> so cute. Okay, I'll be right back. So I'm going to pop this up with some dimensional adhesive, and I suppose I could do that now. Um, what I was going to show you next is uh, we need to cut some tabs off of our pieces to get those down. And you know I like to use every bit of foam, so it's just a carrier that had circular foam dots. <laughs> and now I'm popping it on here, and that's about the right size. I'm going to squeeze it too hard because I have my little drawer pull there that I gave dimension to. Just eyeballing where that is. Oh my gosh. I look how cute that is already. If you don't like that white kind of popping up, some people what they do is they color the foam, whatever color the paper is, so you can do that, just color the edges. Um, this is the back one, I already just stuck this down just to have an example. And even at that, there's a nice texture here, you don't have to pop it up if you don't want to. But this is for the back. And I'm also going to stick this down with some dimensional. So I'll cut that really quickly. Maybe just a little bit. Here and a little bit here. And then we're going to cut the tabs. Of course, you can do whatever you like. Now, if you wanted this just to be like on a card front, you have that. I did want to measure this um, die for you. Hopefully, you, this is the part you'll hear if you're interested in the actual sizing of the die, but let me. Um, the larger die. Let me just measure that really quickly for you guys. It is uh, about five and a quarter wide and four and a half tall. So hopefully that info helps you out. That's the largest die. And everything else, of course, is smaller than that. Um, again, you know, we have the little tabs. I haven't even cut those out yet. We're going to stick this on and in just a minute. Actually, I'll probably do that now sometime. You can put it on the front. You can put it towards the back. They have it towards the back. I'll just do that. Put a little glue on there. <laughs> so cute. So I'm going to put this to the side for now. Again, we have our little price like ticket things. We can pop in here in the window, you know, wherever it is that you want to put it. But we'll do that in just a minute. So let's put that to the side, and then we have our back, where we have this piece. Now, if you look at the instructions, on this one, the one that has your little pretty stuff, you need to cut off the first two sets of tabs. So we're just keeping 
the bottom tab is what it looks like. Let's see. Three sets of tabs on the vignette inserts that will allow different heights in the cash register. Of course, we're talking about these things here. And there are pieces. But the tabs, A tab, B tab, C tab, so A, B, C. Um, so they're telling you here exactly what to do with that. Um, and then cut the tabs as shown as it says here. So we're leaving the C tabs on this one. And we're just going to trim these guys off. That one's a little bit tougher because I had that black paper on the back and I was cutting them both at the same time. So basically this is going to be on your machine and then you're going to layer this in. But we're going to do that first actually. This is a little bit different than other vignettes. So we're going to put it together and then glue it into the um, front and backs. We need a layer one. Let's just pretend this is layer one. And that needs to keep the A tab. So I'm going to cut both of these off. I'm just using scissors, but however you prefer to do this. So this is layer one. Layer two says to keep the B tabs. So we're just going to cut this bottom one off. And the top one off. Bottom and top. So that's layer two. Layer three is the one we just did, uh, the very first one we did, so maybe I should have gotten an order, but that's okay. And then layer four, you're, again, you're going to keep B tabs. And this is also a layer that we need to, so I'm going to cut this bottom ones and cut off the top one. And then this one, we also need a piece of paper to cover that back to shade in our lettering. Now, if you don't care and you want to keep it that way, the back of this one will probably help you out to see see how it kind of shades it for you but it does say to cut a piece of paper two by three eighths of an inch so I'll cut a piece of this black paper two by three eighths and I'll be right back okay so I had a little change of plans I wanted to cut so I thought half an inch seems kind of small I cut it anyway and then I was like oh no that's not gonna work for this one because the change is good it has two lines where priceless only has the one line so if you had priceless yeah that would work you know I didn't cut the two inches but this is um, an inch by two inches and the two inch cut is actually smaller than this across so uh, when I mentioned earlier about sizing this up actually I'll tell you the size of that it is two and three quarter inches two and three quarter inches wide so if you want to make this two and three quarter inches just to go across that would be good too I just did what the instructions said but I would next time probably cut this at one by two and three quarters just to go across the whole thing but basically we pop that on there. I'm going to hold it down for a little bit just to shade that. Okay, I'll okay, be right back. I think we're ready. And then we're going to cut. Still, I have my little price tag things to cut. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. Like I said, I kind of want to see what this looks like before we do that. So we have our pieces. What we need to do is layer one. Again, layer one has A tabs. We're going to bring this over and get layer one tucked in here. So easier because usually we have to tuck this in differently so right now this is just in our hands just gotta get these bits in here come on buddy sorry I had to get closer and we get a little leverage same thing with this side and you can put it on now you can put it on when you're done with the first side you know, however it is that seems easier to you is what I would recommend there we go and then that's layer one with the A tabs. Layer two with the B tabs is this one. And so now that I pop this in, it's going to make it higher. Hope that makes sense. Like it's going to bring it up. Well, I'll show you right now. And you know, to be honest, maybe I should have worked back to front. <laughs> but that's okay. These. Come on, there you go. That one. Now this one. Just want to make sure this is nice and open. This is where we get real quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing work guys I'm doing work ok 
okay what I want to show you is how now it brings it up okay and then this one is even higher up <laughs> so I just again want to make sure those are nice and open there you go easier and you see higher and higher and higher and now this one is going to go on the very back backwards so it's facing out and then again where we cut our tabs so it's just going to kind of fall drop down a little bit lower than that third tab come on fall in there once it falls in, then it's easy to get that top part, but you got to make sure that little bottom notch gets tucked in there. There we go. Oh, I thought there we go, but no, nope. there we go. <laughs> now there we go. Okay. And let's make sure this one's nice and straight. I'm going to straighten these out just to make sure it's nice before we move on. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then these pieces, now we're going to glue them. So, again, I usually score things before I go to use them, but I left these straight. So I'm going to score them. I'm going to score this other side, and I'll be right back. All right. Again, with these vignettes, the whole point is that it lays flat, so you can send it off. So as you can see, this becomes one unit that lays flat. So, now we're going to bring this over, and it's kind of telling you where you're going to be gluing it. And really, I think what you can do is look through and kind of make sure. Like, this is obviously going to have to clear the bottom, so it can't be, like, down here somewhere, you know. It has to be, like, right up here. So if you want to glue this to the back first or to the front first, you know, that's up to you. I think what I'm going to do is look through and glue the back down first. And I like using wet glues. Now, of course, this is, you know, what the instructions said. If a lot of times I end up going kind of my own way, if you feel like it would have been easier to glue down the brackets first and then do this part, you know, that's totally up to you. I'm kind of looking through it, seeing the words change is good, and making sure I'm clearing that bottom white piece. Okay, I'm going to hold this here until it sticks together. Just a little tip as I'm holding this, I kind of just flattened it out. And that kind of helps you see where you're at and then when you pop it open just to hold it down really well that glue okay so I'm gonna bring this guy over and we'll do the front again you know it's kind of easier to flatten it out and just to give you an idea of where you're at now you might still have to do some adjustments but for now I'm going to line this up so that the height is about the same as the one in the back. And it's going to move over just a little bit, right? Do it like that. I'm going to press it down, pick it up and see kind of where we're at. And if that's about right, then I'll keep it there. Okay, so that's what I'll keep doing. Just kind of eyeballing this, holding it down, letting it dry a little bit, letting it set up a little bit. And then I'll see if we're about the right spot. Let me fold that back. Okay, that's kind of how I'm doing it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it down until it sets up better. Okay, guys, so I think for the little tab pieces in the front, or however you want to decorate that, that's up to you. I think what I'm going to do is run this through on the silver. And I'm going to run these two through on the black. And that way they are they have a backing. And I think that'll be cute. So I'll run these through. And then I'll run these through with some black paper. And I'll bear okay, back. Okay, guys. So I just glued those together. And so again, you can place these wherever it is that you would like. Um, I'm assuming you can place them on the tabs too if you want. Or right in front, you know, in here. So 
whatever you want to do. I'm going to put some glue on here. Again, this is just because I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I'm waiting till now. So I'm doing this a little differently than I would have initially. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I just put a little bit of glue and I'm just popping these on here. I'm going to hold it till it sets up. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope that helped you out. If you're uh, receiving this or if you're signing up this month to receive this, um, again, you get 10% off the site uh, whenever you're a club member of any of the clubs. And sorry, it's because it's that metallic paper. It takes a while to dry, so I can't even let go quite yet. So I'll have some images for you guys. I'll have the uh, links in the description box. Thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these items for review. And thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to try to let that go so you can kind of see from the front. <laughs> That's so cute. And in the back, you still have the little sentiment showing up there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.